Well, hello to you from a city that's always a joy to visit, Vancouver. We're at BC Place for this game. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And we have group stage action from the Cup coming up for you. It's Canada versus Germany. Well, these teams know they cannot afford to drop points today. It's so important they are consistent throughout the group stages if they want to progress further in the tournament. Should be tense, Derek. Chance to run at them. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer between the posts. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Niklas Zule at the back. Jonas Hofmann plays with Leroy Zane in the wide areas. And leading the line today is Timo Werner. Well, if the form book has its say, every reason to believe Thomas Müller will make a big impact here, Stuart. Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Steven Eustachio. Excellent refereeing, advantage in operation. Chance to attack using width. Davies. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. Kay. Got to it easily, the keeper. An effective challenge. Difficult to stop him. Firing it towards goal. Tremendous block. Oh, good looking run. Had to come up with the ball and did. Muller. Gives it a go. No nonsense clearance. David. K. Now showing excellent vision. Must be. Well, tremendous block. Individual brilliance. And a chance for him on the flank. Can they forge ahead? They do! And you've got to say, they're good value for the lead. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive, and Muller wasn't going to miss that. He knows exactly where to be in the box when the ball's played in. He's such a great player. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Werner. Clean challenge. Good thing from his point of view. Plenty of support here. And he's beaten him here. And the referee's verdict is penalty kick. Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. And now to level the game. And he slots it home with confidence. Well, here it is again. The keeper tries to read the penalty, but in the end, he just makes no effort whatsoever. That's a strange decision. Goal. 
so in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser 1-1 one, one. Werner there to win it back K can they create something from here can't miss surely and up for grabs off the keeper and in at the second time of asking just what was required Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. Well, back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. So the whistle then, we're at the halfway stage in this match. So into the second half, can Germany fight back after that first 45? Eustachio it's with Larin and that'll be a Canada ball determined block must be was an important piece of defending who can they pick out now keeper getting both gloves on the ball Tilo Kera. Hoffman. Running with the ball confidently. Can he get them level? Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Well, still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time if they keep piling on the pressure like this. And on the front foot again, no let up from them at all. Oh, keeper dealt with it. <laughs> Favouring the short one. Can he find the net? Well, it so nearly went in, but the post having its say. Well, that's a great effort, isn't it? He caught that really well. That deserved a goal. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Your wife is waiting for you. Thank you. A danger here as he runs at them. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Good move in the making from Germany. Müller. Well, he didn't really trouble the keeper. To be fair, the angle was tight. Well, I'm not sure that was the right option. It's always going to be difficult to score from there. Well, they've decided to make a change. Atiba Hutchinson. Well, there to intercept. Well, Germany have had a lot of the ball during the last 15 minutes, as you can see, and they've created chances. It just now needs one of those chances to be taken, but you feel it's coming. Oh, the chances on, Stuart. And a goal, it was served up on a silver platter for him.
Well, here's the replay, and it's a simple finish in the end. But where was the defending? That's just not good enough. Goal. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. Jonathan David. Junior Hoylett. Really bright-looking attack. Good defending in the end. And danger averted for now. And he's allowed his opponent to get past him. And that's easy-peasy for the keeper. Niklas Zule. Kera. Hoffman. Kera. That's all they can conjure for now. Well, we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. He's in behind. Super goalkeeping in such a tight game. Well, he's just kept them in this. Brilliant goalkeeping, that is. Corner kick played in. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Really good attacking play. Gives it a go. Can they stop it going in? Well, they can keep possession of it now. Well, I thought that was game over. It's a great save from the keeper just to keep them in this. Well, they can't exhale just yet. Here they come again. The inside route looks promising. Well, not hard to read that pass. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Hoffman. And there goes the final whistle. Well, they have to settle for a point each. At least both sides are on the board, Stuart. Well, it was a fairly even contest, but they now have to focus on getting three points in their next game. Otherwise, they'll be putting themselves under pressure in the latter stages. I think it's accurate to say, Stuart, that this man was the light bringer for his side. Well, he should be on the winning side after that performance because he was outstanding, especially in front of goal. But his team defended so poorly today.